There it is, you guys. The best roller coaster in all of Quahog. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. The Ride. You know, I think they kind of figured that movie was going to turn out to be bigger than it was. Oh, come on, Lois. It'll be awesome. It simulates all the fun of, of um... What, what was it now? Like, it was like a, like a tall guy in a black hat and a cape or something? Yeah, yeah, and there was the guy with the mask who wore a mask. And one guy had an umbrella. Yeah, and I believe he opened it at one point. Yeah, and it wasn't overly long. Yeah, not, not overly long. Sorry, sir, there's a weight limit on this coaster. Oh, really? What's the limit? The rule is you can't look hilarious on this motor scooter. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, there's just no way. Big news out of Six Flags Columbus today as they unveil what promises to be the largest roller coaster in the United States. That's right, Joyce. They call it the Holocaust. The ride has several Jewish groups up in arms as they go over the first rise. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. They're, they're actually pretty upset. Wow. I had heard about the Holocaust, but I never believed it till right now. I have to ride that ride. Peter, come on. They're not going to let you ride that ride either. You're overweight. Yeah, if you want to ride that roller coaster, you're going to have to go on a diet. A diet, huh? All right, well, how's that work? Well, I suppose you can start by keeping a food journal like Quagmire does. Yeah, in fact, I got it right here. Today, I ate peaches, ginger, honey, candy, olive. You know what? This is the wrong list. All right. If that's what it takes to ride that ride, I am going on a diet. And I'm not stopping till I look as good as my great aunt legs go all the way up, Griffin. Hey, baby, do those legs go all the way up? Why, yes, they do. Ah! Oh, my God, you're a monster! Come back! My legs are shaved like a little girl! Hey, what do you got there, Peter? Rice cakes. Never had one, but somebody told me this is a really good way to start your diet. Such a horrible thing! Ha ha ha! We know you not like rice cake. Spicy, spicy, spicy! No one likes rice cakes. All right, Peter. The most important thing when you're on a diet is willpower. Now I'm gonna put this steaming pie on the windowsill to cool. Now, no matter how many beckoning fingers that steam morphs into, or how badly it tries to sneak its way up your nose, I want you to resist the urge to levitate off the ground and float towards the pie. Doesn't seem too hard. All right, go stand over there. Ha <laughs> no you don't. No, no, you can't go in there. No, no, stay out of there, that's my special area. Ah, 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 no, stop, I'm saying no. Ah, what kind of pie is this? Peter, it's making me watch. Peter, I don't understand why we have to drive all the way to Ohio to ride a stupid roller coaster. Yeah, besides, they're still not going to let you on. You haven't actually lost any weight. Oh, I think my lithe figure would suggest otherwise. A girdle is not a substitute for weight loss, Peter. Hey, I'm riding that roller coaster, and that's all there is to it. Now, let's get out of here. This thing's squishing my organs around. There it is, kids. Columbus, Ohio. Now, remember, there are no rules about who can wear stretch pants here, so you're going to see some pretty shocking things. Brian, is this our vacation? Yeah. Oh. Are we trash? Kinda. Oh. I'm sorry, sir. You're too fat to ride the coaster. Oh, darn it. Yeah, why don't you go back to your pond, hippo? <laughs> How about me, sir? Am I too fat to ride? No, you don't seem to be. <laughs> well, you gotta hand it to him. He had a dream and he made it happen. That's what the Wright brothers did. So, how's your boyfriend Orville doing? Ex-boyfriend, if you don't mind. And who cares? He's probably off in a barn somewhere working on a contraption with that weird brother of his. Ew. Ha-ha, <laughs> 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 bitch! You're so pretty, I miss you! Well, this has given me a lot to think about.